Hi guys, and welcome to Serious Success, where I'm steering you in the right direction to meeting your financial goals. And today, I'm going to be sharing tips on how you can save hundreds, yes, hundreds, on your monthly grocery expenses. Whether you're on a budget or not, food seems to be that one category that we all tend to overspend on. And today I just want to share some tips of things you can do before you go to the grocery store, while you're in the grocery store, and I even have some special treats on things that you can do to save you money even after leaving the grocery store. So make sure you stick around to find out about them. And with these pieces of advice that I'm going to share with you today, hopefully you will implement them and be able to put more money towards those financial goals that you have in place for yourself. First things first, before you even Think about going to the grocery store. It takes a little planning. This is something that you probably want to do the day before. Take the time to look and see what you have on hand already. Check those cabinets, pantries, refrigerator and freezer. See what you have on hand. See if you can possibly pull some things together to make a couple of meals for the week. Make sure you pay special attention to those items that are soon to expire so that you can use them at the beginning of the week so that you don't end up throwing it away because that's just basically throwing away money. After you've determined what items you have on hand, go ahead and plan out your meals for the week. You may or may not have heard of this website, allrecipes.com. You're able to put in the ingredients that you have and they will give you different meal ideas that you can have for the week. It's even an extra place on there where you can put in exclusions. Let's say if you're like me, you're lactose intolerant and need to exclude dairy. If you're allergic to anything, you can exclude those items as well and it'll give you different meal plans that will make sure that none of those items are included in it. After you have that list made, you'll be able to determine what extra ingredients you need to pick up. It'll make it so much easier, the list will be much shorter, so definitely explore that way of doing it. Okay, now that you have your list, it's good to go ahead and look at this app called Flip, F-L-I-P-P. -P. And it'll kind of help you see which store you want to go to for the week. And the thing I like about it, you don't have to flip through those ads that you get in the mail. Just go to this app, pick out your favorite stores, and the front and the back of those ads have the best deals. Be sure that you're only going to one store. The more stores you go to, the more chances you have to indulge in impulse items. So definitely stick to one store for the week. It'll save you lots of money by doing that as well. After you have your list and you're ready to head out to the grocery store, there's one more thing you have to do. You need to eat. Whether, just get you a small snack, something, just to make sure you don't walk in the grocery store hungry. Because we all know what happens when you walk in the grocery store hungry. Everything in the place looks delicious. And we wanna buy everything, and we're just throwing everything in the cart. So we definitely have to make sure that we have our appetite suppressed so we can go in there with our list and are able to stick to it. Okay, now you're at the grocery store. This part is going to take some focus because grocery stores seem to have very smart ways of trying to get you, to entice you to buy unnecessary items. So please stay focused, stick to your list. The only time I would say deter from that list is if they have some of your staple items that you keep in your home or meats, if they have any of those items discounted very well, go ahead and take advantage of that and stock up on those items. But other than that, please stick to that list. Another tip is shopping store brands. When you go for the name brand items, they tend to be up to 30% higher. And the only thing you're doing is help them to make that prettier packaging or to help with their marketing strategies. So just stick to the store brands. It's the same product and it tastes just as good. Another tip is don't let the sale price fool you. A lot of these stores mark up their prices and then have a wonderful sale, buy one, get one free. But what you need to do is look a little deeper than that and analyze how much you're paying per unit, whether it be the price per pound, or the price per ounce. See what that price is to see where the better deal is. After you've gotten everything in your basket and your shopping is done, it doesn't stop there. You have to get to the cashier. And this is the, going to be the most tempting part of your grocery trip. As you know, you've been in the grocery stores where this is aisle and there's candy bars and gums to your left and knickknacks and different dollar items to your right. And you 
are tempted to buy those things, they put those there to just you know, entice you to add four or five dollars to your receipt. Don't be fooled by those items. Stay focused on that cashier. Make that cashier goal without having to indulge in those items that they've put to the left and right of you. And like I told you guys, the savings do not stop there. After you've got in your car, there are apps out there that you can scan your receipts and get even more money back. There's apps like Ibotta, Checkout 51, and Fetch Rewards, where you, like I said, you can scan your receipts and you can get cash back or even points that you can use to build up to get gift cards in the future. So definitely look into some of those apps. I have a couple of them listed down below. Check them out and save even more money on top of the advice that I've given you in this video. And if you like today's content, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you know someone out there that can use my advice and tips on how they can reach their financial goals even faster, please tell them about me. I would love for them to meet us here every successful Sunday. And until next time, you guys, bye-bye.